Please all send as we now pray the morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. All together, O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Faithful Heart of Joseph, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. In union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, I offer them for the intentions of your Sacred Heart the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all the clergy, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of March. For new martyrs, let us pray that those who risk their lives for the gospel in various parts of the world might imbue the church with their courage and missionary drive, amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God, despise not our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Please all kneel for the prayer to Saint Joseph. O dear Saint Joseph, you are the faithful protector and intercessor of all who love and venerate you. You know that I have confidence in you and that after Jesus and Mary, I come to you as an example for holiness, for you are especially close with God. Therefore, I humbly commend myself with all who are dear to me and all that belong to me to your intercession. I beg of you by your love for Jesus and Mary not to abandon me during life and to assist me at the hour of our death. Glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, pray for me to have pure, humble, charitable mind and perfect resignation to the divine will. Be my guide, my father, and my model through life that I may die as you did in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Loving Saint Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, I raise my heart to you to employ your powerful intercession in obtaining from the divine heart of Jesus all the graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special grace I now implore. Guardian of the Word Incarnate, I feel confident that your prayers on my behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. Saint Joseph, most just, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.
Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is Monday of the fourth week of Lent. Please all stand as we welcome our Mass presider, Reverend Father Denichi Wee. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have seen my affliction. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray O god who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling grant we pray that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exult in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the houses they built and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, 
you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now, there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go. Your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him, the fever left him yesterday about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now, this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Our Gospel today tells us about the two signs or miracles Jesus did in Galilee. The two signs or miracles. The first was the changing of water into wine. When did it happen? At the wedding at Cana. During a wedding banquet, the wine ran out, and Mary told Jesus about it. And Mary instructed the servants to do whatever Jesus would tell them. Do whatever Jesus would tell them. And from there, Jesus turned 
the six stone jars or six stone water jars into the best wines. That was the first miracle or first sign in Galilee. And the second is when Jesus healed the son of the royal official who was near death, who was ill. We heard in our gospel that the royal official went to Jesus on purpose. Sinadya niya si Jesus and asked for his son's healing. At first, Jesus was seemingly complaining about people who were looking for miracles, signs, and wonders. Para bang inunahan na ni Jesus? Inunahan niya ang mataas na pinuno na hanapan siya ng tanda bago maniwala. Ito kasi yung laging bukang bibig ng mga tao kay Jesus. Hanapan siya ng tanda o ng sign. Di ba ganun din naman tayo? Nagahanap muna tayo ng sign bago maniwala. Lord, bigyan mo nga ako ng sign kung talagang tutuloy ako. Lord, pag may nakita akong puting bulaklak, magpapakasal ako. We look for sign first before we believe. Kaya nga si Jesus, sabi niya, hindi ka ba nagahanap ng tanda bago ka maniwala? Naniniwala ka bang gagawin ko to? Hindi ka ba, wala ka bang itatanong pa sa akin? But the royal official was not after any signs before he would believe. Instead, he was convinced and believed that Jesus would heal his son. And Jesus did what he believed in. Kung mayroong pagkakaparehas, kaya nangyari ang dalawang milagro o tanda na ginawa ni Jesus, ito ay dahil una silang naniwala kay Jesus. First and foremost, they believed in Jesus. This is same with anything that we wish for and anything that we want to happen. First and foremost, we have to believe. Two things that we could learn from believing. First, to believe is to have the ability to see what has not yet happened. To see what has not yet happened. Believing makes us focus on the goal. Naniniwala ka at sa paniniwala, nakikita mo na ang mangyayari kahit hindi pa nangyayari. That what's believing is, yun yung matututunan natin kapag naniwala ka. Second, to believe is to have the power to persevere. Belief gives us the strength to do what we can and hope for what we cannot. Dalawang bagay ang tinuturo sa atin ng paniniwala. Makita kahit hindi pa nangyayari at pagsumikapan para mangyari. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the invitation of our gospel to us who are desiring of something to keep on believing. For believing gives us eyes to see, ears to hear, and enables us to know and understand. Amen. Please all stand. We turn our hearts to Jesus, the divine physician and healer of the sick, and place our worries and hopes 
in His hands. As we pray and say, Lord of life, listen to our prayer. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. Lord, you took our sufferings upon yourself. Bring us through your cross the joy of the resurrection, we pray. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. Lord, you bore our iniquities and endured our sufferings on the cross. Grant joy and peace to us and to all we meet today, we pray. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. Lord, may the blood and water that flowed from your side on the cross become the saving stream that washes away our sins and gladden the hearts of your faithful, we pray. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. Lord, rescue your people from violence, epidemics, and other natural calamities that the sound of weeping may no longer be heard in our homes and neighborhood, we pray. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. Lord, heal the sick and comfort the troubled. Alleviate our worry and sorrow with your gentle love and grant us the strength to bear this burden, we pray. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, those who seek intercession of Virgen de Guia, and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord of life, listen to our prayer. Father, we come to you for help in the name of your Son and our Savior. Give us the grace to bear our worries over our sick brothers and sisters, restore them to health, and give joy to our lives. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from old earthly ways, and be renewed by growth in heavenly life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I will place my spirit within you and make you walk according to my laws and my judgments you shall keep and observe, says the Lord. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new, and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord.